Hey everybody, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com, joined by the dapper one himself, the voice of the Lions, Dan Miller, uh, here in Napa after the second of two joint practices with the Raiders. Dan, what was your big impression of, of what you saw uh, the past few days? Yeah, I think it was fun. I think number one, that a lot of the players said that I agree with the fans added to it, because yeah. every big play you got the roars, so I think that got the players going a little bit more. And I think it was when I was watching a kickoff drill where they weren't live tackling the guy returning it, but there was live blocking, <laughs> and you, Kyle, you just yeah. heard the pops that you yeah. realized they're going at it. So yeah. I, I think this was just a positive for both teams. They're going to go back and look at this film, and it gives them a whole different look than they've had yeah. when they were just going against each other. Right, so they have the two fields here, and on the one side you saw a lot of the special teams drills and the, the Lions offensive work, and things were pretty intense over there. That's what we saw. Uh, we saw the Nevin Boss and Hannah that you're referring to on, on, uh, on special teams. And over on the other side, well, it was with the, 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 the Lions um, defense was working against the Oakland offense. And a lot of fans there and a lot of energy, and you have to like it. Uh, you know, guys are always going 100%, right? Winning jobs and roles and stuff. But there's a different feel when you get two teams out there. You got guys like Darius Slam, he's so competitive. You lock him up against Amari Cooper, and it's just a different feel. It's more football-like, and, and the guys were going at it. It was a very intense two days of practice. But on day one, we saw a couple of picks, yeah. and the yeah. Lions love that. I yeah. mean, number one, they were very good at that, taking the ball away last year. But when you're Darius Slay or one of those guys playing in the secondary, that's what you live for. Yeah. That's your moment. <laughs> and when that crowd, you, you, especially when you can quiet the opposition, uh, that's what they live for. But I think it's uh, this, this was a great experience. I mean, look, yeah. it's a long way to come, and it's a huge <laughs> undertaking for a football team to do this. But I think they saw the value in it, and I mean, you're going to see it again next week yeah. against the Giants when they come right. to Allen Park and practice. But um, I, I think it also, for some of the younger players, I think it was a nice intermediate step to Friday night. I think, right. you know, you, you practice in Allen Park, then you travel, then you get to practice against another team. Now you're going to go up against another team in the right. game, and it's going to be moving fast, faster than this. But this was a step above Allen yeah, Park, I think. I, I think one of the young guys I was watching was Frank Ragnow. And everyone's yep. curious about his development. He's obviously going to play a big role right away there at left guard. Uh, you know, this, this, these practices were intense everywhere. It, it was giants going at it in the trenches, yep. right next to the, I'm mean, standing right there. Those goal lines, right? Yes. Oh, man, you can hear the thump, thump, thump. I mean, it's, it has a different sound to it than it does back in Allen Park when you're hitting your own guys. And I talked to Frank after practice today, and he's just talking about how you know, the, the Raiders, they play different defense. There's sure. defense, different, uh, different defensive scheme. Different guys who do different things. And it's not like they're scouting these guys coming out here, out here either. So he doesn't know what kind of moves to anticipate or whatever. Uh, he got burned. He looked silly on his first rep yesterday. Against, saw that. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, he's, he comes back. He watches film uh, and plays much better today. You know, you learn lessons that you can't learn necessarily when you're facing blue shirts every day. And I think uh, he made a lot of gains this week. And I think that it's a situation where people want to see what this offensive line is going to look like. I mean, if yeah. you were to chart up kind of the things you're going to look at on Friday night, it's that offensive line. How do they come together for however long they're in there? And then defensively, although Matt Patricia told us this morning he's basically showing us nothing on Friday night. Defensively, what are they going to look like? Yeah. We don't know. I mean, yeah. we, we've kind of gleaned some things from practice, but if you take anything from his time in Oakland, it's that it can, excuse me, in New England, it can change every week. So uh, there's little things that we're going to be watching for on Friday night. And maybe this kind of gave us a little bit of a preview of what it'll be. Yeah, I think it'll be vanilla schematically, but you'll get a feel for just how versatile they want to be on defense. Yeah. That, that's the name of the game uh, in New England. So we, we knew it coming in, but I was watching today and I saw Devon Kennard on three consecutive plays line up in different spots. One with his hand in the ground on the, on the line, one standing up on the line, and one playing at the second level. And that, they can throw so many looks at you defensively. It'll be very interesting to see those it's, guys gel in the front seven there. It's kind of the, one of the buzz phrases that we've heard, positional versatility. Yeah. And they yeah. like it on the offensive line, yeah. and they like it on defense, where they like those guys to be able to. I think the linebackers are a big key there, because you've got a group that might be lined up right behind the line, or they might be lined up right on the line. So I think that's going to be a big part of what they do. That's what we got from Napa for today. He's Dan. I'm Kyle. Uh, thank you for watching.